My name's Adam, and I'm the owner of a small business called Trash Amps. I use my background in engineering to build portable speakers and guitar amplifiers. I can see now, looking back, how fortunate I was to grow up in a family that encouraged me to figure out what my passions were early on. I learned that I like working with my hands and building things, and I can see how that led me to pursue engineering and start my own business. This past summer, I had the opportunity to work with a group of foster kids at a summer camp. And it was at that point that I realized that a lot of these kids haven't had that exposure to engineering in college. They've never had the experience of building something with their own hands. So I thought, why don't we do something about this? I reached out to my network and together we planned a speaker building workshop where each kid could build their own portable speaker and take it home with them. My company, Trash Amps, provided the speaker kits and instructions. We partnered with Tech Shop in San Jose, a workspace where people can come and build projects themselves. We also partnered with Help One Child, a local nonprofit Christian organization that provides services to foster families. Most of the volunteers come from Garden City Church, a Christian church located in San Jose, California. Lastly, the speaker building workshop was made possible by the financial contributions of a few generous individuals. When the kids showed up, I started by sharing about what it was like studying engineering in college and how I started Trash Amps after I graduated. Then we discussed the different parts of the speaker kit, including circuit boards and how to solder them. We paired each kid up with a volunteer and they got started building their speakers. The kids were shy and quiet when they arrived, but as soon as they started putting parts together, you could sense a shift in their mood. Our girl Bryn, when she first came in, was, was really hunched over and not making eye contact when we tried talking to her. But once she started working on the mason jar, she got really focused. And then when it turned on and was playing music from her phone, she, was, she just got a really big smile on her face. Hi, my name is Kaylee and I am 11. Uh, the soldering, I like that. It, it was hard the first time but then it got easier. This is like the first time I ever burnt something into a speaker. I love how so many different organizations came together today to help out these kids. This was the first time we've ever done anything like this, but I think it was a huge success and we'd like to do more of it in the future. So if you know of any opportunities, please let us know. I've been fortunate to have a lot of people invest in my life over the years, so I guess you could say that the speaker building workshop was a small step towards paying it forward. The coolest part for me was seeing how proud the kids were when they plugged in the speaker and it played music. Every kid needs opportunities to build their self-esteem, and I'm so glad that God would let us be part of that today.